Hello everyone, uh, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Mark Eibner and I'm the managing broker and owner of Metro Brokers Realty Oasis. So let's take a look at the real estate market and how it performed this last month of June in the Metro Denver area compared to say the rest of the nation. We all know that real estate is very, very local. So here we go, inventory. So this is for all homes and condos together in the what we call the 11 county uh, front range area. So 11 counties in the front range area, it's not the whole state, but according to RE Colorado, the MLS system there, the homes that are actively on the market right now have increased significantly from the same time last year. So we went from an inventory last year of 1,876 homes to 3,669 resulting basically in about a 95% increase in overall inventory. Now this is still uh, remarkably lower than what you would want to call pre-inventory or pre-COVID inventory properties. So nationally, in regards to the inventory, in June of 2023, there were approximately 1.488, so let's call it one and a half million homes for sale in the United States. And that's down 13.8% using a year over year average. If you're looking at other numbers, just newly listed homes in June was 576,000, which is significantly down 28.7% from last year. So let's take a look at days on the market, another good indicator. On average, all homes, once again, so that's condos and homes together in the 11 county front range area stayed on the market for 33 days. This is up from June of 2022, which was 15 days. So let's just call that about a 100% increase for days on market in the metro area. I know uh, people think that that's still not that long, but it is a big increase from last year right now. And nationally, the medium days on the market was 29 days. That's up 11 days uh, from 18 days on the market in 2020. 22. Next, we're going to look at the inventory of supply. In other words, if all the listings just stopped coming on the market, how long or how big is the inventory? How many months would it take to sell all the homes? Another really good indicator of markets. The average months of supply of homes here in the Metro Denver area was one month in 2022. Now it's currently 2.1 months, so about 110% increase. Nationally, the average supply of inventory was two months, which basically has stayed the same over the year. Now let's just take a look at what happens when we combine inventory, days on market, and supply of inventory, and compare that to the number of homes sold last year and now both locally and nationally. Now the number of homes sold here in June of uh, this currently was 18,939. That's a decrease of 28% from 24,304 that we had here in 2022. Now nationally on average, the number of homes sold was down just 17.5% year over year with 508,000 homes sold in June of this year compared to 616,000 homes sold in June last year. So still down 17.5% nationally and locally here, 28% uh, decrease in number of homes sold. So that's a, big, that's a big number for agents. That's a big number for people looking to buy homes out there on the market. The next stat we're gonna look at is medium sales price. The Metro Denver 11 county area had a medium sales price increase from 2022, uh, which was then 750,000 to 760,000 here in 2023, representing a 1.3% increase in the overall medium sales price here in the Metro Denver area. Now nationally, June of 2023, US home prices were down 0.61% compared to last year, selling for a medium price. This is a national medium price for homes and uh, multifamily together, $426,056. Another excellent data that's affecting all the previous stats we've talked about are mortgage rates. The national average 30-year fixed rate 
right now is roughly 6.7%. That's up 1.2 points year over year or even from last year right now. So rates are the big factor right now in affordability. Taking a look at all the stats and numbers up here, I think the number one thing we can conclude that things are really leaning towards is it is an affordability crisis for a lot of buyers, e even secondary home buyers. The fact that we've got our mortgage rates where they're at right now, you combine that with the affordability in insurance, insurance rates are up 50 to 60%. If you combine that with the affordability of property taxes, property taxes are increasing basically 30% for a lot of the houses that are being purchased out there coming up in 2023 and 2024. That's really what it comes down to. Uh, and this is prevalent throughout most of the state, not just the 11 county area here in Colorado. We're seeing a lot of people just taking their cash and going to lower cost areas, not only in the state of Colorado, but outside in the country. A lot of people relocating to our, our southern states and things of that nature where cost factors, at least on purchase prices, are a little bit lower. Does it mean insurance? And in some states, your Jersey and your Floridas and stuff like that, property taxes are double or triple what they hear, what they are here in Colorado. So uh, I think it really depends on your circumstances. If you're looking to buy or sell, uh, more than happy to sit down and talk with you. If you've got any questions here on our stats that we have up here and you're looking to sell or buy or looking at investment property or liquidating investment property or anything else, 1031 exchanges, reverse mortgages, give us a call 720-217-5853. Once again, that's 720-217-5853. We're more than happy to pick up the phone and talk with you. Thanks and have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the stats.